What is up, YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com, and in this video, I wanted to do a comparison between ChatGPT and Jasper AI. Recently, there's been a lot of media coverage about ChatGPT and the future of AI conversation. But in this video, I just wanted to do a breakdown and comparison uh, to see exactly what are the differences at this point. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I'm here on OpenAI under ChatGPT optimizing language models for dialogue. We've trained a model called ChatGPT, which interacts in a conversational way. So you basically, you can um, ask it questions and go back and forth like if it's a conversation. So that's one of the, the things that have made it real popular, uh, a little bit different than a pro program like Jasper, where you give it commands and tell it what to do. So I was doing a little bit of research on the ChatGPT and actually on the jasper.ai blog they wrote uh what is chat gpt so it's an it says what is chat gpt and how is it different from jasper open ai introduces a new interface called chat gpt here's what businesses should know about the innovation and how it differs from jasper so basically what is chat gpt chat gpt is a natural language processing tool that allows you to have human-like conversation with an AI copybot. And it was originally from the GP3 based language model. All right, so you can do, um, it helps users with all sort of ta tasks like answering simple Google style questions, write copy, generate code, and write creative stories. All right, so like I said, it's been getting a lot of media coverage. This is an, an actual video from ABC News, it says, uh, how does ChatGPT and OpenAI differ from Jasper? So actually, uh, OpenAI is incredibly powerful source, source, and it's a partner to Jasper. So Jasper already uses uh, OpenAI as a part of uh, its technology. Um, so basically, Jasper here also uses NeoX, T5, and Bloom included uh, its own software. So Currently, one of the big um, draws to chat GPT is that it's free. You can sign up and you can give it a try. Right now, I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to use it. But basically, I just wanted to cover a few more things on here. So and give you the difference between writing it on Jasper and also on OpenAI. So um, a lot of people. Uh, so here we go. Will chat GPT replace Google? So basically, uh, the answer in short is no. Number one, um, any question you ask chat GPT, it'll be from 2021 or before. And um, so, of course, if you're Googling something from yesterday, it will not show it. And then uh, this article goes into a few more other things. But I'll go ahead and go over to if you go to open.ai.com and you create a an account. It'll bring you here, which it says chat GP3. So these are examples as uh, capabilities and limitations. So basically you can ask it simple questions, it's gonna give you real good answers. So the example I'm gonna do is why are AI copy writing tools so popular? I'll put a question mark. So why are AI copywriting tools so popular? So if I go ahead and... Okay, so then the answer it gave me is AI copywriting tools are becoming popular because they can help automate the process of creative writing content, written content, excuse me. This can save time and allow businesses to create more content in less time. Additionally, uh, AI tools can sometimes produce content that is more accurate and consistent than content created by humans. All right, so then if you can ask it a question, you know, continue with the conversation. Will AI copy writing tools replace humans? Question mark. And then it will it'll continue. And it says, it is unlikely that AI copywriting tools will completely replace humans in the near future. While AI copywriting or while AI tools can be helpful for automating certain aspects of the writing process, 
they still have limitations and may not be able to produce the same level of creativity and nuance as a human writer. And then it continues to, to write. So this is the interaction with ChatGPT. If you actually go over here to, uh, let me see here, is it this one? Um, or back to the chat GPT. So one of the other uh, samples that they can do. So one of the things if for coders, if you code, it says, here's an example of this code is not working like I expected. This is the user. How do I fix it? It will look at a code and it will give you an, an, an answer. So right here is the whole conversation between the user and the chat GPT. All right. So if you go over here, it says, how do you break into someone's house? It's going to first tell you that it's, um, it's not going to answer that question, but the moment you tell it that um, actually I'm wondering how to protect my home for burglary, it'll it'll give you examples. And then another one here, you can ask it just simple questions and it'll keep going. All right. So let me go back to the actual conversation. So like I said, you can continue to go here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into Jasper and go ahead and oops, let me go back here. I'm going to go ahead and copy this question just to give you an example of the kind of response that Jasper will give. So if I actually paste that question here, this would basically be the response and I can continue with Compose. It says, AI copywriting tools are becoming increasingly popular due to their ability to quickly and accurately generate written content. These tools use an advanced AI algorithm and natural language processing technology to analyze large amounts of data and recognize patterns in text. This allows them to create unique human-like content that can be used for a variety of purposes. All right, so one of the biggest things, I won't want to make this video too long, but basically chat GPT is getting a lot of popularity right now because it's free and you can use it in conversation. If you're an AI um, content, if you create AI content, um, I would continue to, you know, if you want to give it a try, see where you can use it. You could also use it to create blog posts. You can ask it to create titles, um, but AI copywriting tools like Jasper are still going to be the best to create uh, over time. Maybe in the future, they might have ChatGPT might have a, a paid tool that you can use. Um, but again, I still think that Jasper AI are still superior currently for creating content. So if you like this video, I'll go ahead and put a link so you can give Jasper a try for 10,000 free words. Also a link so you can sign up to try uh, chat GPT, give it a try. Uh, earlier I did try it and it was saying there was too many people. There was too high demand, so it wasn't working. So you might get air, an error at times, but, um, go ahead and give them a try. See what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.